Welcome to Wisenaki, a YouTube tour of how to deactivate your Facebook account. Um, in this, I created a, a account by the name of John Joe, which is what you will call an unknown male person that has passed away. It's unknown, or uh, Jane Joe if it's female. Um, when you join Facebook, it asks you to add a cover photo, asks you to add a photo, asks you which city you're living in. Then it gives you like brief people you might know and details add about photos. Um, do you want to add or tag photos? Then you can put down the date of birth. I put down 1982. I put down like 1914, but that's apparently too old. Now, I would recommend my view of Facebook is quite simple. I recommend people just to deactivate the account altogether and um, a lot of Humanity wastes a lot of their lives just going online and still living in the moment. So I'd be personally myself deactivating my own Facebook as well. But this is just an account showing you how if you want to wish as well to deactivate your account. As far as I'm aware of, you can't actually delete your Facebook. You can only deactivate your account so that you can reactivate it again later So if you so wish. So Facebook will always have your photos at the moment you sign up to Facebook, um, you 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 sign away whatever photos you put up, any videos, any likes or anything. So you actually don't own your own content; it belongs to Facebook. So anything you publish on Facebook belongs to Facebook. So no one can actually take your photos; they're actually taking it from Facebook. So um, I'm just gonna show you how to deactivate your account. Here, I'm just gonna. Now, deactivate your account, you scroll down, you type, you go up this little button up here, press that button there, then you scroll down all the ways down to settings and privacy. Um, then you go into settings, I believe. Ask for personal information, uh, translation for posts. If you want to translate a post, you don't understand any language you don't understand. Now, you keep on scrolling down here. Um, until you get to um, copy your photos, download your information to keep or transfer to another device, view or clear activity from business and access your visit on Facebook activity log. Um, Private settings. No. I'm trying to remember now myself. Personal information. That's it. Personal. Okay. Manage account. Okay. General contact information. Identity confirmation. Manage account. This is it now. It's how you deactivate your account. No. It says legacy content. Uh, choose a family member or close friend to care for your content if something happens to you. So that's legacy content. Con contact uh, now you go to account deactivate so you press this here deactivate now it's going to ask you for your password so I'm going to type in my password um, okay so it could be anything but it's no I've I believe I typed that password and then you press continue. Now, uh, deactivate your Facebook account. Deactivate your account will disable your profile and remove your name and photo from most things you're shared on Facebook. Some information may still be visible to others such as your name in the uh, friends list and messages you sent. This is, And then they ask for a reason why you're deactivating your account. This is temporary. i be back. I spend too much time using Facebook. I get too many emails, invitations, and requests from Facebook. I have a privacy concern. I don't, I don't find Facebook useful. My account was hacked. I don't feel safe on Facebook. I have another Facebook account. I don't understand how to use Facebook. And other, please explain further. So, um... 
I'm going to write down I don't find Facebook useful and I'm going to scroll down and go continue and now it says get more out of Facebook uh, we're sorry to see you go before you deactivate your account there may be some things we can do to help you get more out of Facebook find friends on Facebook you may find Facebook more useful by contacting with more of your friends Learn about Facebook checkout helps and to get an overview and tips on, on how using Facebook. I'm just going to go, then you just press continue. Now it's going to say before you deactivate, we want to give you more control of your Facebook experience. Even after your account is deactivated, please review the following items and make changes like Messenger. So. Then it asks you how to to act deactivate us. So you can actually deactivate your Facebook, but you can also keep the messenger account if you want to just message people. But you can also deactivate messages as well. So that's this is telling you how to deactivate messages. So deactivate messages after you deactivate your Facebook account from chats. Tap your profile picture in the left corner. Tag legal and privacies. Tap deactivate messenger. Tap deactivate to reactivate your login with your username and password. So that's telling you how to deactivate your messenger. That's so I ask you, so I'm gonna opt out. So it's asking you, even after you deactivate, your friends can still invite you to events, tag you in photos, or ask you to join groups. If you opt out, you will not receive these invitations and offers for your friends' feeds. You can reactivate your account at any time by logging in with your email and password. So yeah, you can't actually delete your Facebook account. You can only deactivate it. So I'm gonna click deactivate my account here. Yep, and now it says account deactivation successful. So yeah, that's how you deactivate your uh, Facebook account. Um, I hope you find this uh, video very useful and should you so choose wish like I do to deactivate your Facebook account and um, use your time more effectively, I would suggest you do likewise as well. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Wise Naki, out.